What's up and welcome back everyone. First episode of 2024. I hope everybody had a really happy new year and a very happy holiday and you got to spend it with your family and your loved ones because I sure did. I'm still here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, but I am gonna be heading back to New Jersey tomorrow morning. And I was lucky enough to spend the first half of the holiday and Christmas in Missouri. So this episode is gonna start off with a park check right here in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina at Matt Hughes Skate Park, which was built by Fifth Pocket. Then I've got a new section called Something From Nothing, which is about skating nothing, ultimately, and trying to either build something, do a trick on something, or film a clip that looks cool, making something out of nothing. And finally, the last section is spot hunting in rural Missouri. Believe it or not, in the cornfields and the roads that aren't even paved, there are some really awesome skate spots. I'm talking about like tucked in the deep corner of Northeast Missouri. Skateboarding is everywhere. You just gotta look for it. And I'll check in with you guys at the end of the episode. Wow, dude, beautiful Myrtle Beach skate park, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I had to come down here. I'm on a like holiday vacation with the family, but my friend Jesse Clayton built this park, so I had to come check it out. And it is everything I was expecting it to be, built perfect to Jesse's like signature dimensions on each ramp. Jesse, hats off to you again. And uh, he did tell me he's gonna be building a new bowl here. Right over there, he's actually gonna be building that bowl. And I believe he said that they're gonna be breaking ground on January 6th. So unfortunately, I'm leaving like on the third. I'm just gonna miss him, but I'm excited to skate this park now. said it once i'll say it again hats off to jesse clayton and the fifth pocket team for building matt hughes skate park in beautiful myrtle beach south carolina i'm sure there's other diys like i said i'm just here on vacation with my family so i've had some pretty limited time to come skate like a half an hour here an hour there but thank you to my girlfriend who filmed some of those clips also shout out to my tripod if i ever come back to myrtle beach this is going to be one of the first places i stop and the second one is going to be at deville skate shop because they are the real deal over here all right, but real quick before I go back to the hotel, there's this like Eurogap thing in the parking lot and it's pretty crusty. Ground is pretty crusty, <laughs> but I don't think I can leave here without trying that at least once. I have softer wheels in my bag, so I'm gonna change it up and give it a go right now.
got one. That one felt cool. All right, I can go home now. Literally, I've just been doing school all day today, but I'm getting good grades for once in my life, which is super weird for me. I've never gotten good grades. Anyway, welcome to Something From Nothing, a new section where I am skating nothing and trying to make something out of it. Currently in Missouri. If you watch my channel, you guys know I told you I'm in school right now for medical coding and billing. That shit is really, really boring. It's basically just a ton of reading right now. And I just need a break, dude. I need to just ride my board for a little bit. So I am here in my girlfriend's garage, which you could tell is, well, it's nothing. There's nothing to skate here. It's just a little garage of flat ground, but she's got this little tiny bank ramp here that leads up to the door on the way out. And I'm gonna take this little cruiser board here, have some fun with it. That was fun for me. That's all I needed. All right, I could go do another chapter in school now. Oh my God, I'm just kidding, dude. I'm, I'm like Pringles, dude. Once I pop, the fun don't stop. I, I, I gotta get a few more tricks in before I get back to school. I'll get back to school eventually. Plenty of time for that. But my friend CJ did drop in my DMs this morning and he was like, yo, you should film like something stationary. Like, I feel like that's cool and different. I'm like, okay, dude. I haven't skated stationary in a while, so I guess I'll give that a shot. Could be fun and challenging. A little, little stationary challenge, Stash. Look, I made a little wooden rail to try some tricks on. Stationary. Damn, dude, that's hard. I want to balance one a little longer, so like, give, give me a few more. I am having way too much fun with this. Way more fun than I should be having with this. Anyway, now that I know front blunt is possible, I wanna do front blunt <laughs> on this piece of wood, on this little log. God, dude, that was so rewarding. Turns out skating a uh, wooden log is actually really, really fun. Really 
really tall flat bar that me and my girlfriend who's behind the lines, you can't see her, hi Katie. But uh, we just found this, like driving down some cornfield looking highway in the middle of nowhere, Missouri. Pretty incredible, dude. Skateboarding's everywhere. This thing is tall though, no joke. Like. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and if you made it this far, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I do still upload weekly, at least once a week. As you saw earlier in the episode, I am like in school now, so the three times a week thing <laughs> is a little hard, but I am still skating at least once a day, whether I'm filming it or not. Doesn't matter to me. I don't need to film everything, and I always have fun on my board. And I hope you guys do too, because if you don't, you are doing it wrong. But with that being said, man, um, I am going to be heading back to New Jersey tomorrow. It's been like two weeks since I've been home, but I have had the best two weeks ever. And uh, I'm looking forward to like all of the things that 2024 is going to bring and uh, going to be doing a few trips to California this year. That's definitely on my list. Going to be checking in with everybody from Madrid and Autobahn and full circle while I'm out there. Uh, but I don't think I have plans to go there yet until probably the spring or the summer. And really before then, I'm just trying to dial in and get this school programming thing done for medical coding so I could start working that job. In 2024, I'm going to be putting out another new video part. I'm not sure when it's going to be done, but I can say uh, I have like over a minute of footage right now that I'm sitting on that is usable. However, I do need probably like another minute and a half to two minutes to really be able to put something together.